Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. As mentioned in the previous video, today we're gonna make a lip balm. It kind of goes with the theme of the last video, where we did a cinnamon lip scrub to plump your lips. If you want to check that out, I'm gonna link that for you in the info box below. So the lip balm goes with obviously a Christmassy theme, as I love Christmassy smells and Christmas time. And it goes with the lip scrub because it's gonna have cinnamon in it. Surprise, surprise. The main ingredients are castor oil, which is a nice thick sort of gel-like oil. So really nourishing on the lips. So that's why I base it on this oil. If you wanted to substitute it for another oil, that should work as well. But just because of the nourishing properties and the nourishing texture, I can use castor oil. To make the texture even more creamy, even more nourishing, I add some cacao butter as well. And for the texture to solidify a little bit, so it's a lip balm, it's not gonna run off my lips. I'm gonna then add beeswax, so the entire product gets some texture. I like to use the yellow beeswax because the white one is bleached and refined, so the yellow beeswax, because it's just a bit more the natural and raw solution for me. And of course, we're gonna add some cinnamon to that to make it smell nice, to plumb the lips, and let's get started. As you know already, I'm gonna tilt the camera again so you can watch my fingers doing what they're doing. To make the lip balm, we need beeswax, cacao butter, some oil, I take castor oil, cinnamon and an empty jar to store the finished product. For the exact amounts I used in the video, please refer to the box on the right hand side. First, I cut the cacao butter. Be careful not to cut yourself here. And then I melt it in a water bath. I then mix the liquid component of our lip balm together. I use three tablespoons of castor oil and one tablespoon of cacao butter. You could also only use oil, however, when using castor oil, the finished product might get a bit too slimy. So I'd recommend in this recipe to use the cacao butter as well. Next, I'm measuring two tablespoons of beeswax, which I then melt in a hot water bath on the stove. Whilst my beeswax is still melting on the stove, I add the cinnamon to my oil component of cacao butter and castor oil. I stir this mixture thoroughly and mix this with the melted wax. To make sure everything blends perfectly, I pop the mixture back into the water bath and heat it again. I then do also heat the jar where I want to fill my mixture in. And finally fill the mixture into the jar. Now I only have to wait until this has completely solidified again. And here we've got the finished product. Normally I'd leave the lip balm to settle and cool down at room temperature. But I have to admit, because I was impatient and I wanted to finish the video, I put it in the fridge. It does smell nicely of cinnamon and also a bit like chocolate because of the cacao butter. So this really is an everyday product, but I say the more cinnamon you put in there, the less often I would use it personally. If you'd like to have a tinted lip balm, you can obviously add some colorants so to make a tinted version of this. So this time, not all of the ingredients you can buy in your local supermarket. However, you could, for example, substitute the castor oil for something else. And you could even try to do it without the cacao butter, but you would really need a wax to make it solidify a little bit. If you want to have a vegan version of this, you can also add some plant-based wax. Right, so if you did like the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new videos. And do check out my Instagram account. I'm gonna post a picture with the lip balm. And of course, if you want to see how we can prep our lips for using the lip balm with the lip scrub. You can also check out that video. And just a little FAQ session. There was some concern with the lip scrub last time that it could be bad for your teeth because it's made of sugar. All right. Well, usually, I mean, first of all, you're gonna rinse it off and you're not supposed to brush your teeth with it. Yeah. Well, and I mean, normally you're gonna have it on the lips, you're gonna rub it into the lips, and of course, then you're gonna wash it off. So that should be all fine. And... 
and I, of course, oh, of course I ruined it now. I should have shown it to you first. Eh. Just because, I mean, actually you could also use that as a hair wax. Maybe let's call it hair and lip balm wax. Hair wax slash lip balm. I mean, once you did that a couple of times and you applied it to your hair and it wasn't freshly washed, it's a little bit gross to apply it on your lips maybe. But since that one's new. <laughs> um, <laughs> so hopefully that was enough hands in the video. In terms of part of the feedback I got for the first video, actually that was for the German video. Someone told me the English one was much funnier because, because it's just a bit more of the hands and of course because there were more hands in the video. So as you might have seen in the last one, also the German one, I kind of tried to incorporate more hands. So let's get started and make this a more hands-on experience.